Now we are doing fog of war silent raids and we need to be careful because things can appear from the fog at any moment. And we are, we are absolutely terrified. Yeah, no, no warnings for raids, not just fog of war, but no raid alerts, no raid letters. We just had a manhunter pack and the rats just showed up out of, out of nowhere. We had to panic. So we've got to pay attention. We've got these security bells. They don't ring, but they give us a little bit of vision so we can see like that goat right now. So we're just staying aware. Thalion Rock, good morning. So careful, careful, careful. Hello, Evie. Thank you very much for the raid. We're holding on. We're, we're being quiet. You foresee me dying horribly. I see you're familiar with my streams. That's how it always goes. <laughs> we're on attempt number two. I enjoy getting my butt kicked in RimWorld. If it's not incredibly difficult and difficult enough where catastrophic failure is fairly likely, I don't want it. So, we're being careful. The main thing we're scared about is sieges and mech cluster auto mortars, because we're going to have no warning from a siege until the shells start landing in our base. So right now we're making sort of little watchtowers so we can sort of see over the walls. The mods don't quite work perfectly, so we're sort of improvising our own see over the wall watchtowers. Then we're going to come back and remake our base so it's nicer. And get everybody separate bedrooms so nobody dies. And so not everyone dies for a siege. Just being careful. You keep cutting up. Okay, that's just a pig. Is that a manhunter pig? No, it's it's just okay. I just got spooked. They're coming to eat the berries. <laughs> I just got spooked from a hungry pig. <laughs> I thought it was a manhunter. How's uh, Fog of War going today? Very fun. Uh, we got attacked by thirty pugs. We got attacked by a pile of waste rats. We got an eye scar, which is unfortunate. Uh, but we're holding on. We recruited a new person. They don't worship the Jade Club, but the Jade Club told us to send this person off to explore the world. Here's the world map. So they're off exploring the world for us. When we get microelectronics, we'll have a mini map. The mini map won't show us stuff out of the fog. The mini map will still only see the fog. There are cameras and stuff. So we'll have cameras and we'll be able to see what we, I won't have to just zoom out and look around. The mini map will let us, you know, see everything without zooming in. I'm sorry, without zooming out, but not until we, we need a powered comms console. I've set it up so it, it's difficult. And these towers are getting set up very good. Okay, I think you've cut down enough trees. Stop doing that. Careful, careful. Pay attention. Be prepared. Be ready for me to get utterly terrified at a guinea pig again or a hungry pig. <laughs> I may be slightly paranoid. But now we can go like this. Now we can do this. So now we can go up into this tower... Like so. And it should give us extended vision range. See, it, will we go? Yeah, look at that. We now have sight tower. So we can check what's going on. And we're working on two more of those. Can you move the rat from the thing? Don't oh, trigger the trap. Good.
Yeah, minor break risk. Uh, can I re-clean? Oh, you already all are on clean three. Okay. Uh, we need... Okay. Did we fix everything? Probably not everything. We're fixing lots of stuff. Can you get that out of the doorway there, please? Yeah. What are you so unhappy about? Okay, lots of stuff. Careful. Pay attention. Stay alert. Be ready to panic. RimWorld is best when things go wrong. I agree. Oh! The eclipse is ending. Okay. Is there a way to expand those vision spots around your base? What do you mean? Like, to make more of these bells? To make more towers? Like these? Make more of these? They cost steel, and the enemies blow them up. So, we need to be careful with that. If a wall or something is destroyed, will it show up? Yes. It will show up. Yeah, so we're limited on steel for the bells. I don't want to make too many of them because we'll just run out of all our steel. Eventually, we'll have tons of them, but can't follow our dreams yet. And yeah, we will see stuff. More importantly, we will hear the enemies. So that's why I'm speaking quietly and I've got the game sound up pretty high. We can hear the enemies bashing stuff. Come prep these towers. So one cheesy strategy could be a huge wall lining the map. Yep, yep. And we could we could do something like we could hide in a mountain and other stuff. No, we're gonna we're gonna do it the hard way and the dumb way. Those things mean the same thing. Oh, somebody's here. <laughs> Good. We didn't get a warning for these visitors. Who the hell are you? What the hell is this? Okay, good. They didn't get the fun way, right? Do turrets provide vision? I don't know. That's a good question. Uh, I believe trained animals give some vision. This is you PTSD from when you were in the army. It's very similar to real life. Oh, I'm sorry. That, you know, this is scary stuff to me. Imagine if your friends just showed up unannounced to your home. Mm hmm mm hmm Just stay, stay prepared. Okay, that one's coming. So we're getting a little bit more steel. And hopefully we'll get that art bench done. can refill that so far so good and we are playing with my custom storyteller so we can't predict when things happen it's kind of like randy but it should be less sleepy randy moments but it's balanced the same as cassandra and randy okay let's let's test how this works okay everybody take a look Take a look. That's pretty good. Cool towers. I like it. Having trouble finding my storyteller when you do a search, but you're finding lots of interesting stuff nonetheless. That's good. You're searching for my advanced standard storyteller. We're playing. So if you want to play with my advanced standard storyteller, you can as well. But it's very much balanced like Cassandra or Randy. And it's so advanced, it's literally just two numbers changed in a text file. Eric, we would have to use real techniques like patrolling, bunkers, shelters. Yeah, yeah. Sadly, we can't do all that stuff. And that would be a little too intense. So this is very much gamified. But it's, it's, it's spooky for Halloween. That's how we're trying to keep it. Spooky for Halloween.
I have a nice advanced standard storyteller. Thank you. Friends and family are just raiders. Mm hmm. Okay. Stay prepared. Uh, did you find anything? More empire stuff. Uh, let's follow the road. That's still not done. There's plenty of wood out there. Okay. Don't need to cut more wood. We have plenty of food. We can hide inside. We have plenty of tea. So I think next step... Uh... I don't know if I want a wall to here because I like vision. I guess I could do embrasures to see through. Like a vision tunnel? No. Doesn't make sense. We'll just have to make some more water buckets. Can you guys carry all the poop out of here? We need to get to hygiene stuff. Can we see through traps, trap walls? Uh, I mean, I could do stuff like that, but I don't really want to. I don't want to make a spike trap hallway. Pesky Phoenix. Good afternoon now. Yeah, we're doing Silent Rage Fog of War. We got to be diligent. We just had a giant pile of waste rats come out of the darkness towards us. Unfortunately, we were we were watching for it. Gotta stay just on speed two. Careful, careful stuff. Uh, do we have the art bunch done yet? Not yet. How's your exploration going? Slow. And the world map is also fogged, so we're exploring the world map. We've got someone out there who we didn't want. They are not a worshiper of the Jade Club. Can you just get the rat off that thing? Did you guys stop doing that? Would it be worth it to get some pawns whose only job is to keep a lookout? Uh, I'm going to try and get, like, dogs to do that. Dogs will give some vision. So we'll put, like, hauler dogs and some pemmican up there. If this was real life, we'd use a spike trap hallway. You'd, you'd use every real life exploit to stay alive. That's true. That's true. We go hide, of course, in like a bunker. Mech patrollers, that's true. But for now, our plan is just to have a really big wall. And let the enemies bang on it. <laughs> so that'd be nice. Just a big one. I know I told you to change two numbers for the Advanced Standard Storyteller. Those numbers just made Randy a guaranteed nope. It's Cassandra as a base. It's Cassandra with a short cycle and a percent chance of attack. I mean, you can you can download it and look at the text file. Not all that complicated. It is Cassandra base. Just a short cycle chance of attack. Let's make some art. Grab some wood. All the stuff out of here. Good. And they're cleaning out the race rats. That's what we want to see. Uh, plenty of medicine. Don't need to get any heal root. I think we're still good on trees. Yeah, there's still 500 wood outside. Okay, things are a little warmer inside. Whoa, whoa, whoa! It's Dwayne Padilla! Paralytic Abasia! A three-year-old Dwayne Padilla. We, yeah, we have to save him.
but they're yeah they're <laughs> Convert. Wait, wait, wait. We're, oh, that's right. We can't see in the prison. <laughs> there's no, there's no alerts for like prisoner escaping or whatever, and we can't see in there. Okay, so convert Dwayne Padilla, and we'll raise that kid. They're not going to have a great uh, first learning tier, because, of course, they're a prisoner and they have Abasia. So that's not very good. Uh, let's head this way. Eric, while on a peacekeeping mission, one of your lieutenants sent... Uh, Sorry, I heard something. A UN demining team. Because he wanted to keep nearby to protect stuff. We were on a peacekeeping mission. Demining was part of his job. He said he couldn't keep demining. What? I think I read that wrong. Sorry, but you can read the text. I thought I heard something was distracted. It's just a minor alert. Lieutenants yearn for mines. Yikes. Okay, come down here. Check this out. Make another water bucket. Let's just fill more up. Okay, looks good. We'll get some art. Does the mod make raiders less dumb? It changes the raider AI. Whether you consider them less or more dumb is pretty subjective. They're smart enough to not go into kill boxes, but they're actually dumber for fighting in the style I like to fight. So I've actually kind of made it easier for myself in some ways. So it's a different Raider AI. Maybe that prisoner is the child passing by a bit ago. No, they have a got paralytic abasia. It was an abasia joiner thing. We just didn't see the abasia letter thing. Actually, I can't even accept abasia people. Maybe I should turn it on. Fearful Building, Baron Nikitas of the Imperium is requesting we build a monument to insult the loyalty of his rival. It's gigantic, and they want to give us garbage. No. So how do basic tribals attack your base at the moment? Like, do they have a point of entry, or are they just going to knock down walls? They're going to knock down walls. So this AI mostly has you... Uh, I'm playing with a different non-standard AI. And it mostly focuses on doors, I believe. So they're going to attack the doors and they're going to split up a bit. Oh, great. Social fight. Outside. Terrific. Can you guys stop doing that? Luventia, good morning. We're surviving. We got uh, attacked by a herd of pugs and a herd of waste rats today. Oh, and Dwayne, the three-year-old, has a wooden foot. And paralytic abasia. Ouch. And we will convert them to the way of the Jade Club. Are those roof collapse traps? No, they're uh, sec security bells. They're nets with bells in them. They don't ring, but they give you a little vision. So, like, same concept.
Is that going to last more than one growth cycle? Uh, No, I don't think so. But it's going to last a really long time. I, 45 days is three years for children. And this one's a little over three. So they're just, they're pretty much going to lose this whole first growth tier. Keep converting them. It's no child with a wooden foot. It's a puppet come to life. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Change their surname to Pipe. No, no. Dwayne Padilla is an added name. So it's a sad story. But, uh... Dwayne Padilla's... Uh, wife posted on Reddit that Dwayne Padilla had passed away... But he really enjoyed dark humor games like RimWorld. So she purchased the name and game uh, for Dwayne Padilla. And she wants you to post funny stories to her of how Dwayne Padilla uh, goes through your RimWorld games. So if you go to Options, Gameplay, Add Name. You can add five names from this list. And one of them is Dwayne Padilla. So we've got Dwayne Padilla added, and a few others. We met someone. Trade. We are looking for... We could use medicine. It'd be sad if Huntsman had a similar story. Yep. Yep. I have a my naming game, yes. But you can add any punt. So... You can add five people's naming games. You don't even have to add your own. Like, like you could come in here and you could add five Steves. You could add Steve, 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 Steve. There's tons of them. How much money to get your naming game? It's on the Steam Workshop. Could You could add Hunt Smurf if you're a, a terrible person like that, Eric. But I know, Eric, that you're a good person and a wise person and a handsome person. And you would never do such a thing. But yes, you could go options, gameplay, add name, and you could make Huntsman appear more often. But I don't know why anyone would want to do that. So I could kill them more often. I don't want to see Huntsman. I don't want to kill him. I just don't want to see him. Well, I do want to kill him, but I also don't want to see them. Stay prepared. It's been a while. Getting scared. Anything over here? What's the problem with Huntsman? I hate Huntsman. Yeah, send me your dead huntsman pictures, please. Careful, careful. Everybody careful. Diligent. Guess he ruined one of my colonies? One? No, he's ruined more than one of my colonies. Huntsman has ruined several of my colonies. You're going to add time into your game. That's a good one. Oh, can we get this out of the door? Can we haul in everything? Making large sculpture. Good. Okay, we've got some exploration going on. Still haven't found any nice places. Yep, eat. Feel better. Do I have any pinpoint powers? We don't have any psychic powers at all. No psychic powers. I held off on meditating for a bit so we could get some stuff done. Yeah, I don't know if they're going to do any line of sight. No idea. 
poor little Dwayne. Slowly getting converted. We're not very good at wardening. Oh, I should have Bacchus do it. They get a bonus. Uh, no, I want to keep. I want to keep preach health ready for diseases. Uh, can you start coming down towards the river? Did I see something there? We have a tower. Go check the tower. Just me being spooked. What's the pawn out in the world doing? Exploring. Someone's got to reveal the map for us. So they're out looking for trading places. We are being careful. Need to get a little more mood. We also didn't see anything when we landed. Right. We did random start location. And it was blind world map anyway. You keep bringing in everything. Refueling campfire. Bring in, just bring in lots of wood. Don't just bring in a little wood. Bacchus is healed. Good. Does it add extra range to line of sight? Yes. The tower does add extra range to line of sight. Yeah, we got a good biome this time. Yes. We would have considered moving. Let's look up there. Good. Keep our water buckets full. Stay ready. Will I play that silly mode I played a few days again? Uh, I may, yes. Uh, I believe Brains is working on making adjustments to make it more... Uh, better. And the music is being played from an outside program, so it's not going to sync up with combat. So we don't get any warning from one speed. We don't get any warning from music. No warnings. Only panic. Can you stop hauling animals there? Fortified, you really enjoy my stream. You learned a lot. Awesome. Yeah, this is. Yeah, I I enjoyed the the poorly translated English and all the other silliness. That was very silly. But we're doing spooky for Halloween. Geo Solo, you love the idea of fog of war and tech that would reduce it, as well as the mod that inspires map exploration. Yes. A dovetail nicely with quest like engine ruins. Yes, yes, yes. It is. It is. Lots of cool stuff. We're doing it spooky for Halloween. Check check the tower. Okay. You guys are hauling limestone chunks. It's good. We'll get back to research soon. And once we get a let's get some more wood. And then we'll remake the base. We'll start we'll make this nicer. We'll make some bedrooms. What happened with the first run? Uh, day two. So in the first run, we landed in Temperate Swamp. And Temperate Swamp has a billion trees. I believe Evie did that recently. It takes forever to cut the trees and make anything. On day two, we got attacked by pigs with grenades. And the pig faction takes forever to kill. And since they were chucking grenades at us in a swamp, it was very difficult to dodge the grenades uh so that was that was not good and then a bunch of people died and we tried to move and then uh Itakin, naked speed Itakin showed up and we didn't have any defenses and they just ran us down and beat us to death do i think i'll make it to the end game uh if so what ending are we gonna try i haven't thought that far 
Uh, I, I certainly think it's possible to make it to the end game. How many days passed since we were last raided? Uh, 38 to 45. Just seven days. It's been seven days. So we're playing with my advanced standard storyteller. So it's very unpredictable. It is possible that sleepy Randy moments can happen. But it should be statistically less likely. So if you want to play with my advanced standard storyteller, you can. I'll put a link to it right there. So it should be balanced the same as Cassandra and Randy. It should just be statistically less Sleepy Randy moments, but Sleepy Randy is still possible. But Cassandra's every 10 and a half days, or 10.6, and it's only been seven days between threats. So we're still right on schedule. I'm playing much slower than I usually do because there's not going to be... Any automatic combat slowdown. There's not going to be any warning. So I need to be ready to react when I see bad things on the map. So we're playing slow. Where's the drugs? We got we got 130 tea and 3 smoke leaf. And we're looking for a trade partner so we can buy go juice. That's why... That's the main reason this person's out on the map. Is I want go juice in everyone's inventory so I can panic and run away. How would I do in Remianship? I took third place. Uh, through uh, with a half hour to go, it was essentially a three-way tie. We all had the same score, and shockingly, uh, my plan of building no defenses, no burn box, and not making any intelligent decisions somehow. That caused me to catastrophically fail right at the end. I know it's hard to believe, but not making any good choices wasn't a good plan. And not making any defenses. But it was a ton of fun. There, I had lots of insane and silly moments. Enjoyed it. You felt sorry for Evie? Evie did very, very, very well. For playing Losing is Fun for the first time, Evie survived for nine and a half hours that's pretty amazing and they had some bad luck a difficult tribal breach raid did them in i'm very happy with how remian ship went went very well her colony was too near the edge yep yep it gets scary does anybody know what mod causes this dot and does it mean anything geo solo us three were so close rng was the main decider yes yes and i also adam talked about yeah sticking to the main map yep yep yeah luck is a huge factor in those the the quest I got where I accepted a quest for like 500 tribals, 470. Uh, if either of the other two people would have got it, that person would have won by a mile. So luck is gigantic, and all the people said it. Uh, everyone is talking about how luck is a big factor in those challenges. So I don't like treating them as a competition. I like playing for the self-challenge and the journey on those, because... If you treat it to be compared with people, you're just going to be unhappy with the luck... Or other people's luck, so it's really silly. Like, one of the people got a toxic fallout. One of the people got six instances of gut worms in the first 100 days. One of the people had uh, a mental break that caused a giant raid to go away, essentially. So there's lots of luck for everybody. It's very silly. But I had a ton of fun. I do the challenges monthly with both the English and the German community. So I play like that all the time. You'll see me do lots and lots more of those runs. Don't you worry. And I do want to go back and uh, try and reach 1 million wealth on one of those. Do I speak any German? I do not. I barely speak English. So I still want to try and do the 1 million. Yeah, six gut worms. It was a skill issue. I agree. Should have played better. Let's 
So just being careful. Staying prepared. Letting stuff get hauled in. Uh, how much wood do we have inside? Not much. Cut some more trees, please. Uh, what time is it? It's foggy. Okay. I was thinking maybe we should go patrol the map. Yeah, let's go. Mood's pretty good. It's early in the morning. Let's go check what's going on. Okay, perimeter check. Let's go see if anything's out here. Let's investigate. I want to stay close enough where we can still... Like, if there's wargs coming, I still want to be able to run and get inside the walls. Or at least have a chance. We'd be pretty screwed if the wargs come from this way. Maybe I should leave one person in the tower when I do this. Okay. Nothing remotely nearby. So let's just head back inside. Not freak out. Cut some trees. Collect some wood, and then we'll start making the base nicer. Partway through winter, we'll be ready to start growing crops. Good, Dwayne's getting converted. Still plenty of food. We don't need to shoot animals or anything. Can you get yourself together? Rebuffed, rebuffed. Jerk. Oh, Art's here. Let's slap this in. Careful, careful. Stay prepared. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Did I see something? Did you guys see? Did it look like something fell there? Am I spooked? You take that one. You take that one. Let's go. You didn't see anything? You back inside. Go take a look. We'll just go a little bit out here. Okay, it's a donkey. Okay, you guys are getting unhappy. Yeah, cargo pods with cotton candy. Mm hmm. Okay, room's getting nicer. That's good. Shoot, frenzy's gone. Whatever. Uh, let's make this bigger. So let's let's make like an inner wooden compound. Do raiders need to search for a base? Does fog of war affect them? Uh, there's settings for that. AI not affected much by fog of war. I have this unchecked. I don't know what that means. I don't know how CAI works exactly. So I don't know. Kaon, good morning. So, uh, the AI is going to be very, very different. Between the Fog of War and the CAI mod, it will not predict. Like, I, I won't be able to easily manipulate it. Like, I, I make the AI do stupid stuff in the unmodded game. We're not going to be able to do that. At least not as easily or not in the same way. Uh, I want another double thick wall here. Like, I want double thick wall, double thick wall. So let's put... Hold on. I saw something. 
Was it just a donkey? Okay, I just saw... I think I just saw an animal. So we'll put a three wide gap. And we'll make... An inner double wall. One, two, three. Yep. That's not enough for geothermal, but that's okay. We're just making short-term decisions. One, two, three. There. And where's the tree? We'll prep for the tree. So this is going to be our compound. Our new base is going to fit in that. So we'll start making this out of stone. And uh, we have tons of limestone. So let's just start making lots of doors as we do. Uh, yeah, come on, make one right there. Uh, these ones all have to come in inward. Okay, one outward right there. And one inward right here. Yep. Start making silly walls. Or doors. I'm getting scared. I mean, a mech cluster could have landed somewhere. We just never know. Is this harder than no pause? I'm playing no pause. I don't pause. So we're doing 500% fog of war, silent raids, no pause, CAI 5000 all at the same time. I mean, I do cheat and pause sometimes. But never in combat or whatever. When sometimes uh, people ask interesting questions and we pause to check it out. Uh, if I kill Huntsman, I pause to take a screenshot. But those are the only times we pause. I don't pause in combat. Terrible stuff happens all the time. It's not so much courage as just willing to lose catastrophically and embarrassingly. Why are sliding glass doors called door walls? And wouldn't it be nice to have them in the base? <laughs> How long would it take the enemies to bash through our sliding glass door walls? Good morning! Still rocking the run, yes! How different do you feel this AI is? It's very different. Uh, I actually have played with it a bit off stream and a bit other times. And for the style I play, uh, this AI is actually easier for me. Because the style I play with like the double thick walls is I try to split up the enemy. And then I take advantage of it when it's split up. And this AI, by not going into kill boxes, it splits itself up. So... Uh, it's slightly easier for me, but I do like the ability that I can't manipulate it in the same ways. So I don't really know the main ways to manipulate it and stuff, and I don't know how it works and what it does and stuff. So people run in strange and confusing ways when we fight enemies, so that's amusing. So right now we're just making we're gonna we're gonna make this inner bigger compound. So we're gonna incorporate that. Info about the Jade Club. Four colonists to carry out the investigation. Hack all the things. Let's do it. Everybody stay inside. Uh let's go. Now keep exploring, please. We're off to do... <laughs> oh, please don't get attacked here. Uh oh I don't know how this is going to work. 
Dwayne can defend the base, that's right. <laughs> that was that was that was wild. Okay, you're doing that. You're doing that. We're doing this. We have a shock lance and an insanity lance. Let's go. Hey, Luciferian, we were just talking. I could use some for this person's eye. Okay, there's one. Nope. Yep. Nope. I thought I was allowed to deconstruct those. Problematic. Oh. Ah, I can't deconstruct it because there's enemies on the map. I forgot about the whole... I wouldn't even know if I'm getting attacked. Well, let's just open this up. I have to pay attention to this. Yet yeah, they may explode without warning. Yes, that is possible. And we're just opening this up so I don't burn myself too terribly. Need to watch for that. I'm bringing in everybody so we all burn together. How many terminals are there? I don't even know. You hold the door open. More Luciferium. There's the last one. We're just gonna get this and walk out. Hold the door so we can come in. Oh, do I still have a base? Good call. Yep, we look good. Need everybody to keep it together. Get some vision up. Oh, you're the wrong person. You're supposed to keep hacking. You're the best researcher. Okay. Shuttle's over there. We have Luciferium. We'll start that on Deer, maybe. Because they got that eye scar. Maybe we'll just hold it just to be safe. Careful, careful. Does a melee need sight? Well, they don't need eye pain. Uh, melee dodge chance based on sight. And I think hit chances too. So yes. Stop, stop whining, take drugs. Let's go. 
with their hack speed? I don't know, but they're the only one with that. I wasn't going to check. It may be that the eye meant they don't have the best. Um, actually. It's based on intellectual, yes. Was it just one Militor? Oh, F me. We can't bring them back in the shuttle because it's bugged. So we can't take them. Oh, we obviously have to take the Jade. Okay. Shuffle. Yep. Yeah, it's, it seems like it's mecked. Wow. Okay, everybody in. Well done. <laughs> I wasn't scared for a second. I was really scared. We could have caravan and walked home, yeah. If that's what you mean. Or keep this caravan moving. Does a Mechanator clean mechs like a janitor cleans the John? <laughs> Maybe. Uh, who grabbed the stuff? Uh, let's use this. Let's just put it on you. Yeah, just use that. And I don't know. Maybe I'll hold the Luciferium. How much is it? 18? Oh, we could... You could go... We're, we're going to die before we run out of... Okay, what is the other scar? Torso scar. Neck scar. Oh, yours is bad too. Yeah, all DLC, yes. Hmm. Maybe I'll sit on the Luciferium. It would be good to have a tough pawn. Oh, you're good. You're tough. And you got the Jade Club. Okay, you go Luciferium. And Lotus New. It's the same one, just with Luciferium to that. So we'll go you to Luciferium. Just hold some, please. And you keep exploring. We're looking for a nearby settlement we can trade with. Evie's doing Twitch Toolkit and someone gave her Luciferium. Did she take the Luciferium or did she just receive the Luciferium? Guess you gave his paw in Chemical Fascination. Chemical Fascination doesn't do anything with Luciferium. She didn't inhale. Got it. Luciferium is a medical drug, not a social drug, so chemical fascination doesn't care about it in any way. And we should put these blocks outside. Let's move these rocks. What was that? Let me put something down. What was that social and chemical drug? So they're different drug types. So like if you click smoke leaf joint, it's a social drug. If you click luciferium, it is a medical drug. Chemical fascination, chemical interest, and drug binges only do social drugs. They don't do medical drugs. 
So chemical fascination, chemical interest, drug binge, you don't have to worry about luciferium. You do have to worry about animals. Animals may consume a drug at any point in time. Are there broken doors in the top left? There's this broken thing, if that's what you mean. That's just broken. We just never bother repaired it because I was just testing tower stuff. But thank you. It doesn't agree with religions that only allow medical drug. Yeah, I don't yeah, I don't know how the ideology stuff it might be bugged. Maestro, good afternoon. Hello. Uh let's let's keep making our walls. Nope, wrong button. Oh, that's embrasure. Oh, that's gonna be obnoxious. I'm gonna make a bunch of embrasures accidentally at some point. Yeah, come do that. Uh, you guys can all go back to nearby. Let's turn this off. Let's uh, do a tower check. Since we were just out for a bit, let's go look outside. Before we go do anything. Okay. Looks good. Looks good. All oh, these towers are cool. This is so cool. Nice. I like that. So we had to use embrasures to make that happen, but I think that's that's pretty cool. We have to sort of climb up it through the doors. Then we can look outside with big vision. Is Dwayne converted yet? Almost. So next up, make compound base. One slow step at a time. And you are still looking for... Where we can trade. I want Gojuice. Why... Why do you bring the rocks so far away? They don't just put the rocks one cell off. They move them way far away. I don't know if that's different. I, that doesn't happen in the unmodded game, right? Yeah, nothing. Can he feed himself indefinitely? Uh, oh, 68 days of food. He could probably rest or whatever and get more, so. So it may not be forever, but it's close enough. Oh, I put those doors at the wrong spots. It's not the right spots. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, it is. That is the right spots. That one has to go in. Yeah, we did it because... Yep. Thank you. Whoa, something lagged? Was it just the reveal of the next cell? Yeah. It lags when it reveals more of the map. Dwayne has been converted. Yay. <laughs> Abasia. Yeah, we don't have Glitter World to remove the Abasia. So not really going to get any growth here. Expecting an attack soon? Uh, or there may have been an attack. There could be a mech cluster out on the map. There could be other stuff we don't know. Sappers and breachers are gonna be a whole lot of suck. We could just walk into one, yes. I do want to make like a big wooden wall kind of far away. Change to recruit him. Uh, I'm not sure I want him. So we're gonna reduce resistance first. 